Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. I know that you must be truly sick of triangles now, but unfortunately there's one other possibility for triangles that we haven't covered. And that is, if you have a triangle where you're not given the perpendicular height and you're not given um, an angle between two sides, so you're just given um, one of the lengths 10 meters and let's say the other one is 5 meters and this one is let's say 8 meters okay how would you find the area of this triangle right obviously we can't cut it up because 5 and 8 they're not the same so it's not isosceles we don't have a protractor so we can't measure any of these angles we don't know the size of these angles so in order to find the area of this triangle, we need something called Heron's formula. And Heron's formula looks complicated, but it's actually just two simple steps. The first step is to add up all the three sides together. So you're going to go 5 plus 8 plus 10, you're going to add them together and you're going to divide your results by 2. Okay, and you're going to call this quantity S. Now, why do we call it S? There's no reason at all. We can um, call it anything we want, but we're just calling it S to represent the answer from this calculation. And if you type that into the calculator, you will get 11.5 and then once you have found this number called S the area of this triangle is now equal to I'm just gonna bring down this area and put it over here so the area is equal to this big formula but it's actually again a lot easier than it looks it's the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Okay, it looks hard, but it's actually quite easy. So what you do is you simply substitute the number for S and the number for A, B, and C into this formula. Now, A, B, and C can be uh, whichever way it doesn't matter so really you can just memorize that you're gonna put in underneath a square root I'm just gonna try draw this straight you can just gonna put underneath the straight square root 11.5 which is the number you just got from adding the three sides together and dividing it by 2 times by 11.5 minus each of these sides so 11 0.5 minus 10 and then times by 11.5 minus 5 so you're just taking it one each of these sides away from 11.5 and multiply the answers together so 11.5 minus 8 so now this is equal to um, I would suggest that you do the intermediate calculations first before typing it in the calculator because might be a bit hard to type so it's 11.5 times what's 11.5 minus 10 is 1.5 times 11.5 minus 5 is um, 6.5 times 11.5 minus 8 is 3.5 so now you type this into the calculator so I'll show you basically you just type in oops that's a bit big eleven point five times one point five times six point five times three point five get the answer press the square root button so it's the square root of three hundred and ninety two and square root of the answer for three hundred and ninety two and the answer is 19.81. So the area is 19.81 meters squared. 
Okay, so hopefully you guys can see how to do that. Um, we might just try do one more to see whether you've consolidated your knowledge. Okay, so find the area of this triangle. Firstly, let's get S. So S equals add up all the three sides divided by 2, which is 8 plus 9 plus 14 divided by 2. And typing that into your calculator, the answer is 15.5. Okay, so now what you do is you would calculate the area using the square root of s times by s minus each of the three sides um, s minus 14 actually you should probably write out the formula first but I'm just gonna skip that step but you should do that in the test so write out the formula and then go 15.5 times, okay, what's 15.5 minus, I'm just going to put 15.5 in here, just, it's probably a bit quicker, because you guys know what to do, so 15.5 times, 15.5 minus 8 is 7.5 times, 15.5 minus, minus 9 is 6.5, and 15.5 minus 11 is 1.5 so type this into your calculator 15.5 oops 15.5 times 7.5 times 6.5 times 1.5 okay and then square root of that square root of the answer and that will give you 33.66 meters squared. Okay, hopefully that helps you guys find the area of triangles uh, without the perpendicular height and without the any angles. Okay, see you guys next time.